Rachel is allowing herself to be used by the devil. It's not entirely her fault. You left a big crack in the wall. I know, Mama. But what baffles me really is how far she's willing to go to lie that she has HIV in order to end this marriage. Bowale, you will agree with me that the devil is determined to ruin your marriage. I agree with you, Ma. You have to fight for it to ensure he doesn't win. That's why you're the head of the family. I'm trying my best. I just hope Rachel comes around soon. Did I or did I not warn you never to betray me again? How did I betray you, Eunice? Why are you so bent on taking my husband? I mean, is there some sort of scarcity of men that you cannot find one elsewhere? Wait, wait. If this is about Michael's travel plans, then you shouldn't be mad at me. You should go talk to your husband himself. I tried to forgive you, but you make it so difficult. What exactly are you on about, Eunice? Tasha, this is the last straw. And I will make you pay dearly for it. Voices. I have to leave this house, my girl. Oh. Eunice is losing it. <laughs> she came to harass you over how I found out about the money she's spending, right? Did you tell her I told you anything? Well, I just went to ask her and she denied everything. I didn't say you said anything. This is getting way too complicated for my liking. Oh. I think I have to just untangle myself from this web of madness. <laughs> Me too. I'm leaving this house today. Wait, you want to leave me with that monster you call a sister? I honestly cannot deal anymore. <laughs> well then, if you're going to leave, then I'm going to be leaving with you. You're not serious. We agreed that we're going to leave together, Natasha. Why are you trying to leave me behind? Yeah, but your visa interview is not until next month. Which means you're going to have to stay here with me. Look, I don't trust your sister, okay? I'm scared of her and what she's capable of. So I need you here to keep her in check until we're ready to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Really? But of course, aren't you? I know you're angry because you think I don't trust you. I think you do not trust me, or rather you do not trust me at all. You need to understand my dilemma in all of this. I ignored my undercover job just because of love, and you're the one talking about dilemma, really? I am sorry. I'll try to be more open with you henceforth. Was the information about your brother's location correct? Yes. And he was surprised at how you got to know about that. Mm, you told me to keep my PI work, so I did. He thinks there's a mole among his closest men. I mean, that's the only way your people would have known about his movements. Not impossible. But trust me, the law is coming after you and your brother. And you need to get out really fast. Is there a way you can help us find out who's been supplying your people information about his movements?
Hey Sanchez. What's good, Derek? Mm -hmm. Even. It's been a while you've been to the office. I mean, between playing bodyguard to the boss's wife and having personal business, um, I haven't had time to stop by the office. How's that bodyguard job doing, though? Easy. Easy enough. Easy. Are you sure about that? Why wouldn't I be? Nothing is exactly easy with me, though. Well, I guess I've had a different experience. It's easy. Oh. How is your uh, undercover investigative uh, girlfriend? I told you I was going to get her to flip. She's not my informant. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. She wanted to resign her private investigator job, but I told her to keep it to our own benefits. Impressive. I know. Hello. Mabel, hi. Hi. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Hi, Mabel. I decided to drop by to see how the lounge is doing. Good, as you can see. Very good, actually. Mm. Mm hmm. I'm sure you're surprised I'm pulling it off without you. To be honest, I am. I was unsure the lounge is still being business. Well, it is, and it's thriving. So how are things at the company? Business is good over there, too. I have a message from your husband for you. Let's talk in private. Excuse us. And her husband. What in the world? What's the meaning of this? Huh? Meaning of what? Why are you doing this to yourself? Doing what? This, this is definitely not a way back to redemption. I, I know we made some wrong turns in our spiritual journey. We have to retrace our steps and not continue on the path to destruction. Mm -hmm. If you insist on keeping me in this marriage, Bawale, then you have to deal with the real me. This is not you, Rachel. This is definitely not you. I know you. Maybe I've been pretending and this is the real me. Hmm? No. I will continue to fight this battle for us. Until, until we'll find our way back on the path of righteousness. Yeah. Give, me, give me this. <laughs> well, don't hold your breath, Bawali. Nonsense. And I can always buy another pack, another bottle, your only way out of this bow at least to give me a divorce! <clears throat> no, 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 Derek. I told him, I spoke to him about this and I refused. I'm not going to do it, Derek. He said so. That's why I came here to make you some reasons. Well, tell him you've seen me, but I refuse to see reasons to his insensitive request. Well, I'll come see you again, Ibo. Don't bother. If it's about the same issue, don't bother. I have to go, Sandra. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. What was that about? My darling husband has cancelled his trip to Nigeria, and he wants me to come to Mexico with my daughter instead. And you don't sound like you're happy about that. Why the heck would I be happy about that? The last time I went to see him in Germany, we hardly saw for three hours despite my one month stay. I mean, given that he is second in command in the line of business that we do, he has a lot of responsibilities. Well, why the heck did he get married if he won't have time for family? He can't help it. Well, neither can I. I'm sick and tired of being a trophy wife. 
See, that right there is the exact reason why I decided to stay single. I figured it would be unfair to whoever I decided to marry. And that is how reasonable men should think. Don't wait up for me. I'm going out. Wait, wait, wait. Where do you think you're going to by this time of the night? Dressed like that. I'm going clubbing. <sighs> this is no longer funny, Rachel. Oh, come on, boy. I'm just going out to have a little fun. Are you doing this on purpose? Why do you want to put yourself through the agony of keeping a woman who hates your gut? People. People will keep asking questions that the both of us are not ready to answer if this marriage fails. We are role models to a lot of people. Oh, please, Boale, we are not role models to anyone. We are terrible people. But I've decided to embrace my imperfections and live my life to the fullest. Look, we both have made mistakes in the past, all right? And I have been praying to God, asking him to forgive the oh, both please, of us. please, Boale. Don't pray for me. I don't need your prayers. Don't wait up. Hello, Bali. Yeah, hi, Michael. Uh, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. What's up? Yeah, please. Is my wife by any chance at your place? No. Did she tell you she was coming here? Uh, well, she went out clubbing last night and she's yet to return. Well, she's not here. Have you tried calling her phone? I have, but she's not picking. Uh, okay, uh, well, let me ask Eunice and get back to you. All right, thank you very much. Bawale just called. He said he's looking for Rachel. How is that my business? You mean she's supposed to be your friend. I don't know where Rachel is. He said she went clubbing last night and she has not returned home since then. Michael, I have my own problems. I bet you do. Hello, Mr. Yuri. Detective Barnabas? What are you doing here? You look rather too surprised to see me. Of course I'm surprised to see you. Well, you shouldn't be. We have a pending murder case to solve, remember? I thought that case was closed already, Detective. And why would you think so? Just because you didn't hear from us for such a long time doesn't mean we swept it under the carpet. Fine. So what is it this time? Well, I have what I consider to be a good news for you. You found the lost murderer? I don't know. But the family are willing to drop the case. Only if you are willing to compensate them financially for their loss. Compensate? <laughs> he must be kidding me, Detective Barnabas. It's a fair request if you ask me. I mean, going by the fact that you got their daughter pregnant, out of wedlock, and she ends up dead. But it's already been established I'm not the only man in her life. You were the one she was going to move in with. And you were the one she was pressuring to, to, to take responsibility. 
of the unborn child. Well, that doesn't mean I'm responsible, Detective Barnabas. Look, Mr. Biodo, we can continue this investigation and keep digging into your own life until we find the murderer. Or you can negotiate with the parents of the deceased to lay the matter to rest. The choice is yours. going home today? Are you tired of hosting me already? Of course not. You know I have many empty bedrooms in my house and you can stay for as long as you want. So why were you asking if I'm ready to go home? You said you didn't feel like going home yesterday so I just thought it would be for a night. I can't stand the house. I'm tired of everything in that house and I feel I might slide into depression if I don't get out of that marriage. But you know what is at stake if you leave by force. I do. Bawale again, right? Yes. Just pick up and tell him you're fine at least. Hello. Hello, Rachel. I've been calling your phone since yesterday. I told you not to wait up. Where are you? I'm at a place where I have no plans of leaving. Stop being unreasonable, Rachel. Who do you want, Boale? What, breakfast or dinner? Which? Your detective was here again. What does he want? Why don't you come here and find out? I've already called your mom and she's on her way here. I don't want to come home, Boali. Fine. Now let's just fold our arms and watch your mom go to jail then. Nonsense. What? I have to go home. Mama, can, can you just kindly ask your daughter where she slept last night? She didn't sleep at home yesterday. No, oh, she went to club last night and only returned this afternoon. Rachel, when did you become a club girl? And where did you sleep last night? Can we please talk about the main reason for this meeting? Also, why was the detective here again? Okay. The detective says that Lahore's family is asking for a compensation before they can close the case. Compensation from who? Me, of course. Okay, so go ahead and pay it. This is not a time to be logical, Rachel. What do you want me to say? Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? How much are they asking for? Well, the detective wants me to go and see the family and negotiate with them. I think you should go and do that first. Let's hear what they're asking for. Initiating a negotiation will make us look suspicious. That's one. And then secondly, it's going to suggest that we have the intentions to pay. It's an option. I think we should give some thoughts. Some thoughts is not an actual figure, mommy. Like, how much do you think they might ask for? I wouldn't know until we ask them. I think we need to be sure of a particular amount, no matter what they ask for. Like, how much do you have set aside for this, Boale? Why do you keep asking me that? Like, it's entirely up to me to make the money available. You're the man. The head of the family. Suppose the head of the family. But I did not kill the girl. So there's no way you'd expect me to take the lead in this situation. Enough! Why do you two like to turn every discussion into an argument these days? Ask your daughter. 
Bowale, you will go to the girl's family. Hear what they are asking for. Let's take it up from there. Mm -mm. Mama, Rachel and I will go and see them together. I hope you're not referring to my own Rachel. Oh, so you want me to go there alone? What if they get all aggressive and decide to lynch me? So I should go with you then? And then they'll lynch the both of us? Listen, we are going to see them together. <laughs> Did you invite me along when you were sleeping with the girl? Stop! You two are making matters worse with your bickering. Okay, let the detective go with you. Or let the meeting venue be at the station, just to be safe. There's a problem. You're supposed to say I should bring the car keys. Your sister is unconscious. What are you talking about? Your sister was found unconscious in the guest room this morning. Now we need to take her to the hospital. Unconscious? How? But now we have the keys now. You're supposed to say I should bring the mean? keys. Please. Tonya! Oh my god, this is your... Tonya, where are the car keys? Tonya! Natasha. Natasha, please, Natasha, please. Natasha! What happened to her? I don't know. I don't know. She's not breathing. She's not moving. We need to take her to the hospital. I have the care. I have the care. Oh, She's not going to be moved. No, no, no. You take it. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Let's go. Natasha, wake up. Natasha. Natasha. <laughs> You've been unusually quiet today. I guess I was thinking about a way to just go back in time and undo what we did last night. <laughs> really? That's what's been bothering you? It's not bothering you? <laughs> no. Why would I be bothered about something I enjoyed every bit of? Yes, it was pure bliss. Okay, can we not do it again, please? Well, I can't promise that. Listen, I'm supposed to be your bodyguard, not taking advantage of you. <laughs> and what makes you so sure that I'm not the one taking advantage of you? All right, listen, whichever way, can we just promise that it'll never happen again? It's a big mistake. Listen. We are adults, okay? And you cannot promise me that my husband isn't taking care of his physical needs while globetrotting. So relax. I just got off the phone with Buwale. He's on his way home. How did the meeting go? He didn't want to say over the phone, but he sounded like it went well. Is that alcohol you're drinking? Do you want some? <sighs> Rachel, why are you suddenly acting like a wayward girl without any good Christian background? Mommy, please. You're confusing me with this, your idea of Christianity. So I've decided to live my life my own way. What do you mean I'm confusing you? Whatever happened to thou shall not kill, as instructed in the Ten Commandments. But you did not just kill, you took two lives. That was a mother's instinct taking its course. I had to protect my own the same way a lioness would protect her cubs. We're not animals, mommy. We're human beings. Fine. Blame me all you want. We'll get through this. I know better to stay off your issues. Mm. 
I'm so sorry about what happened now. Thank you. Please, what did the doctor say happened to her? Heart attack. I thought that was particular to only old people. She had history of high blood pressure, so I guess it got worse. I'm sorry, ma. It's fine, mm. thank you. Oh, Ali, you're welcome. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How did the meeting go? Uh, well, it wasn't easy at all. Elo's family members were present alongside her parents. <laughs> you couldn't believe how much they were asking for. How much? They asked for 10 million naira at first. Are they mad? What's going to give them the impression that you have that kind of money? Well, I told them they weren't going to get that amount from me. What amount did you agree on? After a rigorous negotiation process, they stood on five million naira. And what did you say? Well, the detective acted as the mediator and he told me it was a fair amount, so I had to agree. You agreed to pay them five million naira. But Ollie, what is wrong with you? Can you please be civil today and not upset me? I need to refill my glass. Hello. Tonya, can I get a glass of water, please? Thank you. Thank you. Um, sir, how are you holding up? <sighs> to be honest, I don't even know if I'm holding up at all. I mean, she wasn't even ill. Yeah, Madam told me the doctor said she died of a heart attack. Yes, but um, with all the things that have been happening lately, mm -hmm. I find that hard to believe. I'm not trying to stir up any trouble here, but I saw your wife go into her room the night before she died. Are you sure? I'm the last person to sleep in this house and always the first to wake. I am sure your wife was the last person that saw her that night before she was found unconscious. Why haven't you said anything? I'm trying to be careful. I mean, if she can do that to her own blood sister, she won't even think twice for an ordinary maid like me, or even you, her husband. Five million is a lot of money, Bowali. You shouldn't have promised them that. I had no choice. You had no choice but to promise what you don't have? There were seven, seven of them against only me. They were even threatening to invoke the spirit of the death on me if I don't comply with their request. So they bullied you into submission. Why didn't you come with me to the meeting if you knew how to negotiate better? Let me ask you, Bowali, how and where do you expect us to get five million naira from? Well, it was your mom here who suggested we explore the option of paying them off. That was because I thought they would ask for something within the range of thousands, not five million. You need to have another meeting with them, Bowali. And tell them you were foolish to accept such ridiculous amount. I'm not foolish, Rachel. And I'm not going to do that. Okay. So find a way to raise five million naira for them, then. It's obvious you're determined to remain unreasonable.
they asked for 10 million naira compensation and my stupid husband said he can only pay 5 million naira. Does he even have that kind of money? No. So where does he expect it to come from? That's a good question, Mabel. Search me. Like, I need to get out of this chaos before I lose my mind. You'll be fine. Are you aware Eunice lost her sister? Oh yeah, she told me over the phone, but I haven't had the time to visit her since I have been too busy dealing with this chaotic situation to make sure my mom doesn't go to jail. Me too. You too? Your mom killed someone? I mean, I have been busy too. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've been busy with the lounge. You should go and visit her. Yeah, of course. Hello, Carlos. Good afternoon, boss lady. What's up? About the pending job, I found someone we can use for the final stage of the mission. Too late. She's dead. What do you mean she's dead? She died over the weekend. Heart attack. Real heart attack on my mind. She was found dead in her room. Real heart attack. You wanted her dead and she suddenly died of heart attack. Quite a coincidence if you ask me. Carlos, I'm not in the right frame of mind for this discussion. I'm mourning. What mourning? You wanted her dead and I honestly think you did it. No, I didn't. And I owe you no explanation. Off my phone, idiot. Thank you very much. How are you? Yes. Yeah, good so. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Can you have a show? So you said over the phone that it was a heart attack. That's what the doctor said. Though she had high blood pressure before. I'm so sorry. And she was so young and vibrant. Yes, she was. Accept our condolences, okay? Thank you very much. So how about Michael? How is he? He's fine. Rachel and Mabel are here to offer their condolences. Okay. You should come out, accept and thank them. I don't want to. And I don't think you're in the right position to accept condolences for Natasha's demise. How can you say a thing like that? She was my sister. The more reason why I'm surprised you would do this kind of thing to her. Do what, Michael? You know what? I would really like to be left alone right now. Please. Michael, my sister just passed away. The least you can do is to be there for me as my husband. Oh, please cut the dramatics, Eunice. I'm not falling for it anymore. I don't know what you're on about, but it's very impolite to ignore people who came to offer their condolences. I said I don't want to go. But if you make me, Eunice, I just may be forced to tell me, Bill, that you are the mastermind behind her kidnap. Michael, you need to stop with this unfounded rumor before you get us into trouble. Us? Yes. Ah. No, my darling. This cross is yours to carry alone. And you will carry it when the time is right. Yeah. 
Hello, Ma. Oh, Ali, how are you? I'm, I'm fine, Ma. M Mama, I just got back from work and I noticed that Rachel's belongings are no longer here and she's not home. Have you called her phone? Severally. She's not picking up. Did you two have a fight before you left for work this morning? Well, yes. I mean, that's all we do these days. Fight. Let's wait and hope. She will come home, Bowali. Mama, you need to speak to your daughter. You need to let her know that she's not allowed to spend one more night outside this house or I'll be forced to take drastic measures. What do you mean by drastic measures? You, you don't want to know, Mama. You sent for me. Any information regarding the infiltrator and my brother's team? You know you could actually get me killed because of these double standards you're imposing on me, right? I wouldn't have put you on a task if I didn't trust your abilities to stay safe. Thank you for the vote of confidence, but I think it's best we focus on building your company and getting you up to sinking ship as fast as possible. If the authorities, after my brother and his underworld network, knew where to find him, why did they delay with his arrest? They didn't want to make the arrest because they knew he's going to sleep away like he did the last time because of lack of um, enough evidence. So that means the insider and his cartel is trying to supply the authorities with enough evidence. Terry, like I told you before, your brother is going to get caught one way or the other. So it's best to just detach yourself from him now before the war comes crumbling on you. I'm not coming back home anytime soon, Mom. Why are you making matters worse, Rachel? How exactly am I doing that? Do you want Bowali to go spill to the place? <sighs> oh, you wouldn't dare to do that. Exactly the reason why I had to step away from that house. Plus, I need to clear my head. That man loves you, Rachel. And he doesn't want to lose you. Mom, I don't care about him or anyone else at this moment. I just want to live for me and myself alone. Hello, Mabel. I was on my way home. We need to talk. Please sit. Have you had time to think about going to visit your husband as I asked? That's not why I'm here. Please, is Donna a secret agent working with the authorities to have Austin arrested? That's been handled perfectly. So it's true. Why did you think I didn't deserve to know? I didn't want to get you worried unnecessarily. Why is she still here? Like I said, it's been handled. There's nothing to worry about. You know, this makes no sense and I have everything to be worried about. You know, when Sanchez told me this, I was hoping and praying that it wasn't true. Well, Sanchez would have told you that I've been able to turn Donna into a double agent. Now she supplies us with information from different law enforcement agencies after Austin. But I thought these people stopped coming after him after they tried to prosecute him three times and failed. Apparently they didn't. They only changed strategies and they're more determined to come after him more technically you now. So, that's why he didn't come home. One of the reasons. 
if what Donna told me is true, then Austin is actually not safe anywhere at the moment. Why would you say that? They're more determined to bring him down now. They're releasing all their arsenals to ensure that. To a bar, to get a drink, or ten, and think about how I ended up marrying a monster. Michael, why are you so cruel to me at a, at a point like this? Wait, you really don't expect me to join you in your fake mourning, do you? What is fake about what I'm going through? The night before the morning Natasha was found dead, did you go to her room or not? What difference does it make if I went into her room or not? Did you kill Natasha? Are you insane? Answer the question, Eunice! How can I kill my own sister? She wanted to take me away from you. But you wouldn't have that, would you? You wanted me to continue to, to live in this your life of lies and pretense. It's a disgusting thing to even think of what you just said now. What is more disgusting is you thinking that it's okay to kill your own sister. Do you want me to hit you? If you dare open your mouth one more time and accuse me of killing my sister, I will hit you. Mm. Michael. Where did you move your stuff, Steve? Somewhere I can get the chance to think about my life and what I want to do with it. We need to stick together to solve the murder case that we have in our necks. So, did you talk to your mistress's family like I suggested? Well, I ran it by the detective and he also thinks it's a bad one. So we still get to pay the five million there? Yes. Okay, I'll just call my sugar daddy and find out how many times I have to sleep with him to get such huge amount of money. You're trying to get me angry, aren't you? I'm only letting you know how I intend to raise the money, which actually is how I raise the money for my mom's surgery. You have been denying ever cheating on me. Actually, I'm admitting it now. And as a matter of fact, I was going to sleep with the same man so I could raise the five million naira for our poultry business until I found out he is HIV positive. I see. Hmm, yes. So you see, Bowali, I am not the kind of woman you need in your life. Ma, 
There's a man in the living room asking to see you and your husband. What man? I don't know, but he says he's a detective. Really? Yes, ma. Ah, okay, thank you. Hello? Hello, I am Detective Barnabas from the state CID. Okay. We got an anonymous tip that a murder took place here two weeks ago. Hello, who are you? I am Detective Barnabas from the state CID. You are Mrs. Eunice Williams. Yes, I am. Well, I'm following up a tip off regarding a murder that happened here two weeks ago. You have the wrong address. Do I? Someone passed away two weeks ago, but it wasn't a murder. She was my sister, and she died of heart attack. Can you, can you explain to me the kind of relationship that existed between you and the deceased? What part of she was my sister, don't you understand? That does not give a detailed explanation on the kind of relationship that existed between you and the deceased. You need to go. I'm beginning to feel very uncomfortable with your presence. Okay then. You prefer to come to the station and answer the questions. I will not go to any station or answer any questions. You should go, Eunice. What did you just say? Eunice, you should go with him to the station and answer what you know about Natasha's death. How could you still possibly want to be with me after all that I've done? I meant it when I said, to death, to a spot. Are you sure you're not keeping me because you want to save face? I love you, Rachel. I love you very much. Even though it's difficult for you to forgive all my wrongs, but I still want to be with you. I didn't mean to stray so far away from the path of righteousness. It's just my mom was sick. I did what I did to, to save her life. My affair with Elohu was at my weakest moment. Yeah, I tried to retrace my steps, but then she was already pregnant. You lied to me, Bowley. You made me spend my money on us while you give her everything. She was blackmailing me. I had to do what I did in order to buy her silence and prevent your heartbreak. I could be HIV positive, boy. Are you sure you still want to be with me respective of the result? really do not care at all. Divorce is not an option, no matter what. Can I go now? <laughs> Mother, I'm not sure you are aware of the kind of trouble you are in right now, do you? What stupid trouble? First, I would like to know who came to report this matter to you. It's an anonymous tip, like I said before. And it's obvious it's a case worth investigating. 
My sister died of heart attack. And there is a doctor's report to that effect. And your husband said that the doctor declared her DOA when you got to the hospital. They had to find out the cause of her death. And they settled for a possible heart attack. Yes. <laughs> That's interesting. Is it true that you and your sister were fighting a lot weeks before she passed? We have our issues like any other normal family. And it is not exactly normal for two sisters to be sleeping with the same man. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it true your sister was having an affair with your husband? No! Are you sure of what you're saying? Because we spoke to your husband and he has a different story to tell. I would like to talk to my husband. Okay. I need to go get my things from your place. I want to go home. So he's making you move back home, isn't he? No, I decided to work things out with him. Because you don't want your mom to go to jail. I understand. Can you help me with five million naira to pay off this girl's family? Why don't you talk to Gerald? I'm sure he'll be more than willing to help. I don't want to talk to Gerald. I don't even want to hear his name. I'm asking you, please. Oh, I can introduce you to another guy. What do you take me for, Mabel? Stop that! I'm only trying to help like you asked. By getting me to sleep with men for money? Are you upset? Yes, I am upset. You practically just labeled me a prostitute now by telling me I should make myself available to any guy with oh, money. come on. I'm only putting your options on the table. Well, just because you're comfortable doing it doesn't mean I should. Wait, what? What are you what are you talking about? I heard you and your bodyguard in the shower the other day. I slept over at your place. You told the police you're having an affair with Natasha. No, oh, when they asked, they sounded like they already knew. You admitted. Do you know how that makes me look? <laughs> Eunice, I'm not going to lie to the police, okay? Don't you dare jump on the moral high horse with me, Michael. You were having an affair with my sister under my nose. Which is exactly what I told the police. That makes me look guilty. Aren't you? Michael, I swear with everything I hold dear to me, I did not kill Natasha. You have to believe me. Did you kidnap? Mabel. This is not the place to talk about this, you fool. Oh, hey, 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 hey. You will watch your tone with me henceforth and you will answer all my questions honestly. Now, did you kidnap your friend? Yes. But I did it for Rose. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that, Ines. You did it for yourself. Listen, I don't know what you think you heard, but he was just doing his job. Really? Protecting you naked in the shower? Wow. Did I do something wrong inviting you to my place because you were in need? Why are you cheating on your husband, Mabel? For me, it, it makes sense that it's pressing financial needs. What's yours? Pressing emotional needs. And trust me, that is way important than financial needs. I disagree. I haven't seen my husband in over a year. I am not an inanimate object without needs. Mabel. Please. I need five million naira to settle this girl's family. 
So I'll I'll be done with this situation once and for all, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I can't help you. I'm saving every cobble I can lay my hands on. For foreseen circumstances. <laughs> of course I'm happy. My plans are working out just fine. Yeah. I didn't think it would be easy for you to kill Natasha and frame Eunice. Uh, I didn't want to, but Natasha left me with no choice. Are you sure the police won't trace it back to you? Nah. Eunice has been arrested already. And even you told the police she did it, so I'm innocent. Of course you are. Mm -hmm. So tell me, mm. how did you kill Natasha? Okay. With a heavy dose of sleeping tablets in her drink, it was easy to choke her to death while she slept. <laughs> Genius. Of course. You're welcome. I'll do anything for you. Mm. <laughs> um, I think there's someone downstairs. Please don't go. I'll be back soon. Huh? Eh, and the... Oh, man. I told you not to go. Oh. Hello, sir. Yeah. How are you, young lady? Fine, sir. I am Detective Barnabas. From the state CID. You're welcome, sir. But my madam and her husband are not home. Yeah, I'm aware of that. They are at the station at the moment. I am here to ask a few questions regarding the death of your madame's sister, Miss Natasha. What do you want to ask, sir? Mr. Williams made mention of you while giving a statement earlier today at the station. And he said you told him that you saw your madame going into Natasha's room the night before she died. Yes, sir. But I don't want any trouble, please. No, 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 no. Look, there's no trouble. In fact, that's the reason why I chose this particular time. Because I know you will be alone. So just be free to talk to me. <sighs> My madam killed her sister. Auntie Natasha was having an affair with her husband, and she found out about it. How long do you think this affair has been going on? For long. She was even planning on taking him away with her to Canada to start a new life. Tonya. Do you think your madam, I mean, do you have any idea of how your madam could have killed her? I don't know, but maybe she strangled her to death or, or even choked her with a pillow while she was sleeping, but I don't know. Tony. Sir. Do you think do you think that your madame is really capable of murder? She found Auntie Natasha's panties in the bedroom where she sleeps with her husband. That would drive any woman crazy to the point of murder. But... Aloha's family have been calling to know when to expect their settlement. Well, they should calm down, though. Why are they acting like they're happy that she's dead? Well, I've already told them to give me some time. Isn't there a way we can negotiate to maybe a million or two at most? 
I can try. Please do. It's not like they have any evidence for persecution. Remind them we are only doing this for the sake of peace. Well, it would be better if we had a check of two million or at least in cash. Well, next I'm going to meet with them. Yeah, that way they would want to consider a bed at hand, which is obviously much better than two in the bush. That's right. But where do we get two million naira from? Of course, it's on me. I have to find a way to raise five million naira without committing adultery. Do you think Mabel told Austin about my luxury goods company? I wouldn't know. She knows little or nothing about this company the last time we spoke. Well, a lot would have happened since then. True. But do you know who our informant is now? Not yet. And I think we should find out who the person is. Then we'll know how much she knows. I feel there's something off with Austin. Why do you say so? He called and said he was sending in some external auditors to come check the books. Now that sounds like he suspects something. I think so too. And except maybe I'll tell him about my luxury goods company. I see no reason for any suspicion. You see why I told you to worry less about your brother and more about yourself? Anything from your people? I'm waiting for a debrief tomorrow. I'll just let you know if anything comes up. Okay. You'll be the t-shirt, Nima. Okay, thank you, Tonya. All right, ma. Do you want me to get you any other thing? No, I'm fine. This is good. Thank you. Michael. Rachel. Hi. How are you doing? I'm very well. And you? I'm good. Um, how's your husband, by the way? Um, Boile is fine. Mm. How is Eunice? Eunice is not fine. Well, let's just say she's not in a fine place. How do you mean? I've been trying to reach her for the past few days, all to no avail. <laughs> no. She's in police custody. What? Why? You heard, I'm sure, that her sister passed away recently. Yes. Mm. Eunice may have a hand in the death of Natasha. That's impossible. Rachel, it's a crazy, long story, and I may be complicit a little bit in some parts of it, but we have to let the, the law take its full course. This is shocking, Michael. I'm sure Eunice would never, never kill her sister. Don't vouch for her, Rachel. You have no idea what your friends are capable of. Not Mabel, and most certainly not Eunice. Are you aware your niece is in the police station? What? No. What for? She was arrested for killing her sister, Natasha. Uh -uh. Her own sister? Mm-hmm. And the funny thing is, Michael actually believes she did it. Oh, did he explain why he believed? No. I went to their house the other day to ask for financial assistance. Little did I know she has even more problems to deal with. Don't we all? So my husband and I decided to 
pay the family of the girl two million naira instead of the five million originally agreed. Even better. Well, that's if they will agree. Mabel, hmm? I need your help. No one in my family has been able to come up with this money. Oh my gosh. Rachel, we already spoke about this. Why are you bringing it up again? Because now it's two million naira. It's less. It makes no difference. Babes, I can't even give somebody 100k as I'm sitting here. Please, Mabel. I know you have the money. As my what? Account officer. What do you mean you know I have the money? Stop. You know, this is my mom we're talking about. I don't want her to go to jail, please. I understand. I really do. Which was why I suggested you contact Gerald, but no. You blew up in my face. I don't want to keep committing adultery, Mabel. This is not who I am. Beautiful decision, Rachel. But you can't eat your cake and have it. I still thinking about her. I'm thinking about everything, Tony. I feel, I feel so guilty for forcing her to stay against her will. I mean, she'll still be alive today if I'd allowed her go like she wanted to. No, 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 it's not your fault. It was destined to happen. <laughs> then it must be that I am destined to remain down in my lock. Just, Natasha was the one who was going to change all that. You know, that's not true. You have me. I'm here for you to be by your side too, till things get better again, which I'm sure will be very soon. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. Rachel. Mm-hmm. You need to take an HIV test. I don't want to talk about that now. But you should. That's the first step in knowing how to manage the situation properly. Wally, I can't deal with two major problems at the same time. I'd rather handle Eloho's family settlement first. Well, I don't see how one would affect the other. How do you think I'll find time to figure out how to raise the money while dealing with a positive HIV condition? Rachel, I just want to make sure that you're okay. I'm preparing for the worst, but Honestly, I don't, I don't want to know my HIV status right now. I'm not psychologically ready yet. So, when are you going to be ready? When we're done with Eloho's family settlement. And I'm sure that my mother is 100% free from any chance of going to jail. <clears throat> Hello, Mama. Evening, Tonya. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, Mama. See, I have good news for you. What's good news? Okay, so... My madam is in jail, and Michael will be coming soon to pay my bride price. What do you mean your madam is in jail, Tonya? Ah, Mama, she killed her sister. Oh. What? You need to leave the house. First thing tomorrow morning, Tonya. Eh? Am I live here? No, now. How can I leave the house now that I'm about to become the madam of the house? Tonya. Safe in that house. 
Mama, don't worry. See, just expect Michael to come soon and pay my bride price. Yeah? Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, Mama. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> You did it, Tonya. Well done. Yes? And she says I'm the one she's here to see? I'm not expecting anyone by that name. Okay, let her in. Hello, Derek. Hi. I don't think I know you. No, you don't actually. I'm Rachel, Mabel's friend. Oh, okay. Thank you. What can I do for you? Um, I actually have a very important piece of information I would like to share with Austin, Mabel's husband. So I was wondering if there's a way you could help me reach him directly. Who did you say you were again? Rachel, Mabel's friend. Okay, Rachel, Mabel's friend. I don't know what information you think you have. What I'm sure isn't going to happen is reaching Austin directly. Why not? Why don't you tell your friend whatever information you have? I have my reasons. Go ahead and tell me what this information is about then. I think Austin would appreciate this information better. Plus, I'm asking for 10 million naira. Wow. This information must be really valuable. Oh, trust me, it is. Why don't you tell me what this information is about? Then I can determine if it's truly worth what you're asking. How about you pay me first, and then you get the information? There's no way I'm going to pay for what I don't know. I'll tell you what. How about you pay me half the money, I'll give you half of the information, and you'll get the rest after I get my balance. If this information is as valuable as you say it is, you're willing to give before asking for any payment. Oh, the information I have is really valuable, and is worth more than 10 million now, trust me. Well, if, uh, here is my number. Uh, call me when you're ready to find out some shocking secrets about your brother's wife. Have a nice day, Derek. Detective, what is going on? Why am I still here? I'm sure you know why, mother. I don't. How else do you want me to explain to you that I have nothing to do with my sister's death? We have it on good authority that you were aware that your husband and your late sister were having an affair. Even if I was aware, that doesn't mean I killed her. Were you aware of the affair? Yes, I was. And why did you deny it earlier? Because it's not something I'm proud of. To make it public knowledge. It's a sacrilege. Oh, I agree with you. It's sacrilegious enough to commit murder for. No, I didn't do it. Look, the best you can do for yourself in this situation is to start telling the truth. Okay? So that we can begin to see how we can make things easy on you. I'm done convincing you. I want my lawyer. I 
information. You know what, you know what this information is about? Not the slightest clue. She did say it was about Mabel, though. You're curious, aren't you? Of course I am. I'm going to over to the lounge later this evening to ask Mabel what this could be about. Are you sure that's a good idea? I don't know. If you ask him, that's a wrong move you'll be making. So what do you advise? With what is going on now, I feel we should get the value of the information first. She asked for 10 million naira. That's her asking price. Have you tried to negotiate with her or something? I didn't want her to think I was ready to pay. How much can you offer? I can't put a price on an information. I don't know how valuable it is, really. Offer her half of the money. When she gives you the information, you pay her the money. I need to think about this. Okay, but well, make sure you do not discuss this with anybody until a certain information is about. Okay? You like the food? You're a great cook, Tonya. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, what do you think we should do with Eunice's stuff? Do with her stuff, uh, as, as in? Like, since she's going to jail, or even possibly get a death sentence, I think it would make sense to keep her stuff lying around. You know, I've not thought about that. Well, I know you haven't. But I'll suggest we pack up stuff and donate to charity. At least have clothes, bags, shoes. I'm not so sure about that, Tony. Well, I would have been wearing them, but she's obviously not my size and I don't <laughs> like flamboyant things. So. Let's, just, let's just hold on, okay? After all, the police are still investigating. But except they don't do their job properly, she would rot in jail at the least. Hey. I called you five times yesterday. Seven, actually. You didn't pick up and you didn't think it wise to call me back? I was busy. Busy with what? Work. <laughs> Last I checked, your job was to protect me. So my boys are for. Keep you safe. How many times do I have to tell you I am uncomfortable with your boys, especially when you're not there? Well, you're here safe and sound, which means they're doing a very good job. Just apologize and promise that it will not happen again. I'm sorry. I can't promise that it won't happen again. Hello? Hello, Rachel. It's Derek. Hello, Derek. You don't sound surprised that I'm calling. Oh, I've been expecting your call, actually. So, um, would you like to get my account details or you would rather a cash payment? Hey, slow down. No one is talking about paying for anything yet. So, why did you call then? It's unreasonable for you to expect me to pay for something I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so connect me to Austin and then I can tell him directly. That's not going to happen. I already told you that. 
All right, I'll find another way to reach Austin. Good luck with that. You have no idea the length I would go to get whatever I want. Maybe if you give me an idea on what information you have, I'm willing to give you what you're asking. How about you pay me half of it and then I'll convince you for the balance? Let's work with two million naira. No, that is too small. I bet you the information I have is worth more than that. So seven million naira and nothing less. Come to the office tomorrow, let's talk some more. Okay. See you tomorrow, Derek. What are you doing here now? It's rude to ask your mother that question all the time. But you did not tell me you were coming. I'm here now. Are you not happy? Of course, I'm happy to see you. Welcome, Mama. Please sit down. Thank you. So, would you like to eat or drink? Leave, eat, and drink. Who else is at home? Uh, just me. My husband went out. Which husband? Who is your husband? <laughs> okay, Mama, I'm sorry because I know that he has not paid my bride price, but he will come and do that soon. You see, when you say these things on the phone, I think he's just one of those your silly jokes. <laughs> I'm not joking, Mama, I'm serious. Michael and I will be getting married soon. I'm confused. You said your madam was in jail and somebody is dead. <sighs> Yes. Natasha is dead. She was trying to take my man. But you said your madam killed her. Can I tell you the truth? Please do. It was me. Yeah. I killed Natasha. <laughs> she refused to go away. And then she wanted to take Michael abroad with her. So I killed her and framed my madam. Talk about killing two beds in one stone. Isn't your daughter a genius? I told her to come in tomorrow. Are you going to pay her? No. I just wanted to come in so you can be part of the meeting and we see if she truly has something worth paying for. Let's assume she does. Are you willing to pay her? Money's not the problem. I just need to be sure she's not a scam. Okay. So where are we with our external auditors? They already contacted me. They'll be coming in next week. So it's real. Asin doesn't trust you any longer, but yet you're protecting him. What do you have me do? Grab all you can and cut him loose. It's in your best interest if Austin is in jail. How so? Have you thought of what he's going to do to you when he finds out that you've been stealing from him? You've not been stealing from him. Really? And how do you explain the multi-millionaire luxury goods company when he finds out? I just hope he doesn't find out. Please. You know that we can't hide this for so long now that maybe is involved. Junior, you have to go inside now and pack your things. You are living with me now. To where? To Port Harcourt, of course. Why? You just told me you killed somebody. Let's leave before they find out it was you. Don't worry, Mama. Everyone thinks it's my madam. You still cannot be here, Tonya. Your mental health needs some attention. Urgently. You know I don't like it when you call me crazy. I'm sorry, my daughter. But I have to go take care of you. I'm fine. There is nothing wrong with me. But we have to go before you cause more damage. No! I didn't fight so hard to win and then leave now when it's time to enjoy my victory. This is <laughs> not victory, Tonya. Mama, this is my husband's house. It's home now. 
You should be happy for me. If you don't follow me now, I will wait till your boss come and tell him you killed that lady. What? Mama, you do that to your own daughter. Tonya, you have to go now or I'll tell your boss the truth. Fine. Just give me some minutes. Let me get my things. Be quick about that. So you're going to leave with her? She says I have to. But I thought you loved me, Tony. You know I do. I killed someone for you. Why then are you letting her take you away from me? Now is the time for you to enjoy everything that you have fought for. I know. But I'll get into trouble if she tells people that I killed Natasha. I don't care about that. Please. Don't leave me, Tonya. I need you. I love you. What are you doing with the scissors? He says I can't go, Mama. You have to leave. Who said so? Michael. When? He says he loves me and wants me to stay. When did he tell you that? In my room. Just now. But you told me he was not around. Yes. It's the other Michael. The one in my head. The one in your head is not with my daughter. You need help. Please, let me take care of you. Mama, he's real. He's the same person as the real one, and he loves me. You remember back then? You nearly killed your friend. You said she was the monster that always come when you are alone. I beg you, my daughter, you need help. Let me take you for help. This is different, Mama. I am not going anywhere. Please leave before I kill you. Please. Please, my daughter. Thank you. I want to help you. Please, I beg you. Let's go before you cause more damage. Please. Tonya, please, I beg you. Please. Sonia, I'm begging you, please, my daughter, please. You know I love you, Mama. I love you, too. I will call you. <laughs>
Hello? Hello, Uncle Donatus. <laughs> Uncle Donatus, Donia's mental condition has gotten worse. Oh. She just killed somebody where she's working here in Lagos. <laughs> she told me herself, nobody else know, because she framed her madam for the murder case. <laughs> How is it my fault? I thought she was okay after the treatment. I will all agree we should let her go so that she will have a life of her own. <laughs> Leave me alone. Am I supposed to lock her in the house forever and ever? <laughs> Don't tell me that. Please look for a way to come here and take her away from here before she kills another person. <laughs> She even threatens to kill me too. <laughs> Please help me, oh. Uncle Donatus, come and help me. Oh. Why haven't you hired a lawyer to get me out of here? Eunice, good lawyers aren't cheap to come by, and as you know, I'm broke. So you're doing nothing to get me out of here? Eunice, there's little I can do to help you out of this situation. You know what? Find out how much a good lawyer will cost. Hand me my phone so I can transfer some money to you. How about you just give me your ATM card and PIN so that I can go and withdraw whatever amount it is required? I would never do that, Michael. So even in this your situation, Eunice, your, your ridiculous love for money still persists. I can't let you squander my money. Do you know how hard I had to work to get that money? <laughs> yeah, right. Can you try and see if you can pay the police off and let me out of here? You want me to bribe the police, Eunice? I am innocent and I need to leave this place. Why don't you then give me your ATM card or your online banking details so that I can make the withdrawal I want and get you out of this mess? I wouldn't have been in this mess if you did not give police the reason to think I'm guilty. Look, are you going to give me this ATM pin or not? Should I just go? Well? Give me your phone. Hello, dear. Welcome home. Hi. <clears throat> Can I serve you lunch? I made rice and stew. I'm not hungry. Thank you. Um, if you don't want rice, I could actually make something else. Whatever you want. Tony, I'll, I'll have the rice and stew later. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah. My mom was here. Oh, how is she? She's fine. Mm. I told her you'd come and see them soon. See who? Who is them that I'm going to see? Um, my family. To pay my bride price. What are you talking about, Tony? <laughs> don't worry. I'll make sure they don't charge you too much. <laughs> Why? Would you think that I would want to pay your bride price, Tonya? That's crazy. Don't call me crazy. I am not crazy. Listen, Tonya, it's too early to talk about replacing my wife. We're not even divorced yet. But she's in jail. You can't be married to a convict. She has not been convicted yet. Also, she is not in jail. She's in police custody. Okay, so what's the difference? Tonya. Listen to me. You have been kind and caring in this house. But don't you ever speak to me again about us getting married. It is disrespectful.
Rachel, this is Donna. She'll be part of our meeting today. Why is she the one making the payment? In a matter of speaking, I determine if you get paid or not. All right. So do I send my account details to you or him? Why don't you discuss the information you have first? I'll just go sell my information somewhere. Wait. You're terrible at negotiation. I don't have the time nor the patience for a back and forth. What try to ascertain the information is as worth as much as you claim. Oh, it is good. I know what I have, and I definitely know Austin will pay much more than what I'm asking for. Let's talk. I don't have the time to talk. Am I getting paid or not? Hoping I'll make you refund my money back if I don't consider the information valuable. Sounds like a fair deal. Okay, so I'm sending my account details to you. Seven million naira received. Fantastic. Now I'm happy. And like I said, the information I have is about Mabel. The child she has with Austin is not his. What? Austin is not the biological father of that girl. I know who the real father is. Are you sure about this? Oh, definitely very sure. Plus, take this as the icing on the cake. Mabel is sleeping with her bodyguard. If that girl is not Austin's child, then I need to know the man that Mabel has been cheating on my brother with. Aside from Sanchez, you mean? I still find that Sanchez's part hard to believe, though. Why? Because he's a saint? He's supposed to be Austin's loyal soldier. A lot of people are loyal only because it's convenient for them. I have to tell Austin about this. How is that benefit to you? He needs to know what's going on. For the upcoming time, stop worrying your head about Austin and focus more about yourself. Uh -uh.
Good morning. What are you doing here? Um, I didn't want to disturb your sleep. Mm. How long have you been standing here? Mm. Not quite long. Maybe an hour or two. What do you want, Tonya? Breakfast is ready. Do you want it in bed? No. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. When you get there, make them know it's either they accept this two million or nothing. And the only reason you are paying them is because you pregnant their daughter out of wedlock. Would you like me to come with you, boy? No, I can handle this. Okay? But I'd still like to know where you got the money from this time. I did not commit adultery. I believe you. But I'm still curious to know. I sold valuable information and got paid for it. That's all I can say. Okay. I gotta go. Hi, Mabel. What do you want? I've come to see you. I don't care why you're here. I don't want to know why you're here. I don't even want to hear what you have to say. Sit. <laughs> Says. Who? <laughs> Donna, you cannot talk to me like that. Even while I'm helping you keep your ugly secrets? What stupid ugly secrets? Oh, please sit down, Mabel. Let's talk. I'm here to help you. Listen, I know you've been pretending to be who you're not, but let me make something clear. You can't make any information from me. Mm -mm. I don't need any information from you, mm. but I'm sure your husband is going to hit to find out that the child he has been nurturing for years isn't his. Now, where did you get that preposterous and false accusation from? Is it really false or you wish it was? I don't know what you're talking about. You can continue to deny it or we get to the part where I tell you what I need to keep this information from your husband, Austin. What's good, Derek? Man, are you trying to get yourself killed? Get your hands off me right now! Get your hands off me! Where the hell did you hear that from? Is that a lie? Who told you? Why would you put your life at risk like this? It's not true! Even if I wasn't certain, I wouldn't be talking about it. And the reason why I haven't taken it to Austin is because he helped me undercover doing it. How did you come about this information? I needed to admit that it's true first. Not admitting anything. Doesn't change the fact that it's true. I know about your affairs with Sanchez and you cannot deny it. Because I have proof. That look on your face says it all. <laughs> what do you want? Before I get to the part of what I want, I need you to understand that I'm the reason why Derek hasn't told your husband, Austin, about this. You can't stop... And you know about the consequences if he does. You can't even stop Derek from telling Austin. I can and I will. If only you do what I say when I say it. <laughs> so I'm your puppet now. <laughs> the only way Austin won't be able to do anything to you when he finds out about the secrets is if he's behind bars and we could work together to make that happen. 
So you want me to betray my husband? I want to help you stay alive. Yeah, but you know what Austin is going to do to you when he finds out about the slow you you've been to him? He's going to shoot you in the head. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say I agree to what you're asking. Hmm? You said that Derek already knows. Derek is going to be a problem. No, I will handle Derek. You just handle your husband, Austin. I didn't plan for any of this when she practically threw herself at me. You need a better explanation when Austin demands for one. Come on, bro. You can't take this to Austin. Why not? Give me one good reason why I should keep this betrayal from my brother. Because it'll ruin just many good years of business relationships and it won't do anyone any good. You'll have to put an end to that affair. Of course, man. That goes without saying. Listen, I'll even resign as her bodyguard. And when Austin asks, is you why? He doesn't have to know why I resigned. And in the spirit of helping each other out, it's important that I let you know that Austin has the suspicions that you've been stealing from him. And he sent me here to keep an eye on you as one of my activities. Really? And how's that going? Let's just say, I know everything about that multi-million Naira luxury company. And I haven't taken it to Austin. I haven't said a word to him about it. Who told you about the company? Mabel. And I did my own day. And I know everything there is to know about that company, including its location. I can't spend the night here. I might not survive it. Eunice, I found just 18 million naira left in your account. What happened to the rest of the money? What do you mean the rest of the money? How much did you make from Mabel's kidnap? Michael, we can't be talking about that here. <laughs> Trust me, Eunice, you can't get into any more trouble than you already are in presently. So, I hear that Mabel paid you 17 million for her freedom. How is it that you have only 18 million naira left in your account? Because I had to pay the guy I did the operation with and the rest of the money I used it to open the beauty palace. How much is your share? Why are we still talking about... Answer the question, Eunice. 50 million naira. Hmm. So I'm going to need the address, the keys and the documents to your beauty palace. What for? Do you want to get out of this place or not, Eunice? I want to. Then bloody give me what I ask you for. sensitive to me with your words the other day and I can't get myself to pretend that I'm happy about it. What are you talking about? See, listen, I understand you're going through a lot of stress right now but you need to be careful not to hurt my feelings. 
I'm still waiting for you to tell me how exactly it is I supposedly hurt your feelings. How can you say I should never talk about you and I getting married again? Just because you know I love you so much, doesn't mean you should treat me like trash. Okay, first, stop crying. Also, nobody is treating like trash. Tony, come on, you know how much I appreciate you. Considering everything that you have done ever since you started working here. So why can't you marry me? Marriage is the very last thing on my mind right now, okay? I have way more important things to worry about. It's okay, no problem. Can I get you lunch now? Look, Tonya, listen, listen to me. You know how to take care of me. And I appreciate that. Okay? Trust me when I say that I will never take your kindness or your care for granted. Hmm? So how about that lunch? You can get it. Thank you. Rachel, how have you been? Good. What's up? You're not going to believe that Donna and Derek know about their affair with Sanchez. Really? Mm-hmm. And that's not all. You remember one secret I told you many years back? I told you and Eunice many years back about the paternity of my daughter. Yeah. They know that too. What? Girl, you're in a deep mess. See, I don't. I didn't tell anyone besides you and Eunice. Is there anyone you told? No, not a word. Okay. Um, have you heard from Eunice? I think she's still in police custody, and honestly, I don't want to get involved in her case. Being tangled in a murder case is is enough for me, honestly. Okay, that's fine. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. Michael. You up? Hi. Hello. Hi. Why is Eunice not back home? Didn't you hear what she did? You really think she's capable of killing her own sister? <laughs> Mabel, if you know what I know, you would think so too. What station is she being held? Why? Because I want to go and see her. Look, don't waste your time, Mabel, okay? Eunice is not deserving of your sympathy. Why would you even say that? And she's my friend. <laughs> it doesn't mean she considers you a friend. You know that, right? Well, I am going to see her. Sanchez confirmed to me that Austin suspects I've been stealing from him. That's one of the reasons why I came to Nigeria to monitor my activities. What are you going to do? I don't know. How did your meeting with Mabel go? Hmm. We agreed to put Austin behind bars. That's the only way everybody could stay safe and happy. She agreed to that. What do you expect? She knows what Austin's going to do to her when he finds out about her lies and cheating games. How does she intend to help you with that? Hmm. By rendering information about his illegal dealings and also her willingness to testify against him when the time comes. 
which means you're still working with the law enforcement agencies. But you told me to stay back. To be on eyes and ears. Not to actually keep working for them. No, Derek, you're actually confusing me. What exactly do you want? Do you want us to wait for Austin to come and find out that you have been stealing from him and make you face the consequences? Or you'll be proactive enough to put him behind bars forever? How did this get out? I don't know. I, I have no idea. Donna wants me to help her aid Austin's arrest. And what did you tell her? She gave me some time to think about it. Mabel, you know you're as good as dead if Austin finds out that you're helping the authorities put him behind bars. And you know he won't spare you if he finds out you've been messing around with his wife. Goodness, Eunice, you look terrible. It's crazy in here, Mabel. I'm surprised I'm still alive. Did you do it? No, of course. I didn't kill my sister. Well, Michael thinks you did. I've tried to make him see that I didn't do it, but I don't know how else to convince him. Well, that's. I'm here to ask you something else. Did you tell anybody, I mean anyone, about the paternity of my daughter? No. Are you sure? I'm sure, Mabel. Mabel, please. Let's talk about how you're going to get me out of here. We'll get to that. But knowing how my deepest secret got in the open is very, very important to me. You know what? Just suggest a good lawyer to Michael. That will help me get out of this place. Okay. Um, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You know, I'm finally glad we're able to pay a lost family the money and been able to sort that problem forever. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge relief, isn't it? Yeah. I can't thank you enough, Rachel. You are the best wife any man can ever think of having. I'm forever grateful that you're mine. Thank you. I'm lucky to have you as well. Okay, so are you thinking of going back to teaching or you want to explore the career paths? Um, I don't know yet. I'm thinking we could still try out the poultry business, give it a shot. I still have some money from the information I sold. About that, are you sure you don't want to let me into the details? No, Bo. It's best if you know nothing. I'm finally going to the clinic to have that HIV test today. Wow, good decision. That's brilliant. What if it turns out positive? Nothing changes. I'll still be here with you. That's easy for you to say, Boily. We don't even have children yet. Does it look like I'm bothered? Hmm? Remember, God's time is always the best. Okay? Yeah. 
Well, you know we won't be able to have sex the regular way if this turns out positive. Don't be a pessimist, Rachel. Come on. All right. Do you want me to take you to the clinic myself? No. I'd like to do this on my own. Thank you. All right. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ah. Mama, good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. <laughs> Please, it's COVID. Please. Thank you very mm. much. Uh, the last time I came in, Sonia said you were not around. Yes, uh, she told me. Actually, I thought you had returned to Patakot. I didn't know you were still in town. No, I'm still around. Mm. I'm so sorry about the death of your sister-in-law. Thank you, Mama. Mm. Such tragic incident. So sorry. Yes. And what about Tonya? Um, she went to the mall. You know, she went grocery shopping. She'll be back shortly. Okay. And she told me your wife was even arrested over it. Yes. She's still in police custody as we hey. speak. Sorry, eh? Thank you, Mama. <clears throat> Mr. Michael, huh? there is something I want to tell you about my daughter, Tonya. I know it's late, but it's better than never. Okay. Oh, what is it, Mama? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's Tonya. Tonya, your, your mom is here, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Afternoon. Fine. Welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama even said that she came here to tell me something about you. Um, what is it you're here to tell him about me, Mama? 